So this is the new production. Okay. Of the Ramalone is number three. Which I think is a bit like the old Beritus that they did for the Swiss market. Is it? Very similar, very similar sort of. It's got that Ramon wrapper. Definitely, yeah. Not the prettiest wrapper in the world. But it says Ramon all over it, doesn't it? Yeah. That nice chocolate colour. Yeah, I'm going to go with my punch this time. I love this. Did you see that Oliva have bought into Le Fin Lamb? Have they? Yep. He's really progressive, friend, isn't he? Very, very. Crikey, that's a very light draw. Ramon Ayones, Ayones number three. Vitola Noblezas. Not an Ayones number three. If you remember the great David Lewis, mm. the chairman of Hans and Franco, well, I'll say, you know, he's, he's still around, but. Yes. Still, All ones? Oh, yeah, Raymond, Raymond all ones. ones. Yeah, exactly. I might get make a right mirror light of this. But I was thinking of... Holy shit. Yeah, Chris, I, I took my, <laughs> I took my eye off the ball. Good. Come In on. the next episode, we're going to teach Mr. Davis how to light a cigar. Don't let him barbecue your sausage. <laughs> <laughs> So delicate. No, but I was thinking and talking and... Can't you know, multitask. <laughs> I'm a man. <laughs> Very true. That is such a light draw. Ramon Ayones, Ayones number three. 52 by 5 and 3 eighths. First presented in 2021, hit the market this year. So the same story as the Oil de Monterey that we have tried. I mean, one of the most incredible things I've heard recently is the new Hoya number three, Epicure number three. Really? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What size is that? 52 by 125 pyramid. No. Yeah. I really like the idea of Ionis number three because Ramon Ionis was missing Over something like this from the portfolio. You had the club, the specially selected Engigantes. Yeah. But this Nothing is really progressive with where the cigar smoking is going, which is a 52 yeah. ring gauge, something above 50, something bigger than specially selected. Because they are great. Specially selected are fantastic. Amazing. But you always but run out just, too short. Exactly. Yeah. What do we think of this one? Quite interesting. It's... Uh... Quite medium-ish. Got some. I'm uh, not detecting a lot of flavour at the moment. I am. Are you? Yeah. I think it's very much, especially selected on steroids. What do you think? I think it's the opposite to specially selected. I'm missing. Specially selected has that very sweet beginning and mild beginning. Yeah. And um, the same. The same goes for Gigantes. Gigantes for me is the most complex cigar in a in a in a portfolio because it will start very sweet and then it will progress through so many stages before it gets to the full body. Especially, especially selected, even people who smoke usually... But this the, starts quite mild. It's not as strong. For me, it's... Mine's it, quite strong. Mine is quite strong. But you see, the, I know what he's saying because first time I've tried it, I didn't like the cigar. The second one, same. And then eventually I got two, three in a row that were like he's saying, it's right. starting mild and sweet. Where mine right now, well, it starts extremely peppery. Yeah. So strong, so, not complex. So the main issue I see with this cigar is they're not consistent. Consistent. Yeah. I, I don't know how to describe. At the moment, that's just one big mouthful of of quite strong tobacco, but it's not smooth. It's not. Mine's smooth. Really, it's, it's, it's not nuanced. Sweet, it's, it's, uh, it's totally different. Oh, yeah. Can we bring them together? Look at the F and ours, look at the F and his. It's totally different, different colour, yeah. Mm -hmm. Two totally different cigars. And you struck lucky. The cream rises to the top, what can I say? Good job it was in. I mean the construction is flawless. Yep. The draw is fantastic. 
but my taste is lovely. Maybe it's the way you cut them. <laughs> you see, it's the way you yeah. light the cigar. You have to burn the shit out of it. Then well, it's. I've burnt, I've burnt the dark, the dark ash off. Yeah. <laughs> You incinerated you've got, you've it. You've got dark hash. I've got lovely light. Hash. Yeah, it's very true. Same box. It's it's. This is not very pleasant. I don't think, personally speaking. Unfortunately, I'm going to say the same. Mm. Maybe it will improve a tad. Tell us what yours is like. It's like especially selected. Is it? But on steroids. Especially selected is probably my favourite Robustos. They never let you down, do they? They're so consistent, which is really a shame. I love the band. I love I love that band. Yeah, it's class, isn't it? Understated. Rumble ones. Traditional. Not fancy. One band. Lovely rapper. I mean, this is uh, maybe mellowing slightly, but... Very, very ordinary. This cigar is like the tale of two cities. It really is. I've got a really, really nice, tasty, especially selected on steroids, and you've got. And I've got a rather bitter. A bitter, ashy, sort of ammoniary, not very pleasant stick. I have to be honest. And Lawrence just tried my cigar. I just tried Thomas's, and I've. I wouldn't say it was horrible, but it was had ammonia, all right, and it had a bitterness to it. Yeah, it's really not good. Two different cigars, no? Well, I'm glad you got the nice one. Cool, right. You deserve <laughs> 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 So be warned. Greg Vitola. Construction of it is flawless. Yeah, it burns fine. It's just a blend of that. Yeah. I would say that it's under fermented tobacco in that. Ammonia is the, is one of the things that I tasted of, of Thomas's. Did you? Yeah. Yeah. Which you may not be getting so much I can of smell because it. you've just had the um, the Hoyer no, number but four, just, which is very strong. So. Have you ever seen me putting a that much of a cigar? No. Well. I think the expression is hit miss. <laughs> Absolutely. That's exactly. It's a. Lucky dip. So I what? guess I guess we're gonna have two different scores. Very different. Yeah. You first. I'm gonna give it high eights. All round. All round. I would say that is a five. Four or five. I I've never put a cigar away. I'm giving it absolute zero. Really? Wow. I have never put the cigar down because he didn't you that's, have that, that you have you put an acid crush down mate yeah that so. was minus 100 <laughs> yeah it doesn't and i will never forgive you that no, 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 no. you you he, he still has nightmares. that was the moment when you broke all the trust i had in you like <laughs> i literally you, you know like this why what have i done wrong to deserve yeah. this you got me back he was like I a did. kicked puppy what did you do? Actually, we're even. A, I got him a malort. Did you? Have you ever tried a malort? <laughs> no. For the people who don't know what malort is, is um, is that the drink? It's a warm, wormwood <sighs> liqueur from Chicago. I'm afraid that goes down as poison. Which is a shame. Great size. Great idea. Yeah. To add something to Ramayana's. That actually has some value. Yeah. Yeah. Poor execution. Exactly. Well, but, in one case. Superb execution. I obviously got the roller who had a good day yeah. and had a good batch of tobacco. You got the roller and a very bad day. And a rare with his missus. I thought worse than that. I think she tried to stab him <laughs> and go out the door. He collected some sweeping. I mean, certainly Thomas's one was, was like... Yeah. You know, sometimes you feel sick after a cigar. If you smoke that to the end, I think that would be the... I agree. Yeah. Yeah. I'm very disappointed because I'm looking at it. It's a great looking cigar and it's dying there in the ashtray. And it makes you want and to it pick makes, it up. Yeah, it makes you want to pick it up, but... It tastes like you just put that in your mouth. It tastes like, it tastes like my lord. 
I'm going to taste the pie. Taste that. Just I'm go going to, to, to whiskey. Just go to show that the consistency levels in Cuba. Okay, so I'm going to say goodbye from me. And it's a goodbye from me. And it's a goodbye from him over there. John. Bye. John. John. How do you say it in Polish? It's Jonathan. Jonathan, yeah. Jonathan. Jonathan. Okay, so... Adios, and we'll see you soon. <laughs>